Welcome back into my office. You're now here with me, Brian, and let's take a look at this wonderful mid-19th century color playbook about French military costume or dress. It's in the original period binding. The front cover is completely detached from the book, so uh, that's how it survives. There are 59 plates within this work. Uh, of 60. It is lacking one plate. However, once you start to see what's here, uh, I think, at least for myself, it's relatively easy to forgive uh, that lacking plate because of what is still present is so excellent. These are Crimean War uniforms of the French military. Many of them are dated in the plate, uh, 1853, so they're from the early 50s. The uh, war stopped around, I think it is 1855. It would take two seconds to fact check that on uh, Wikipedia, but it's approximately 55. So the book came out shortly thereafter. The uh, lithograph plates all have original hand color that has been heightened with gum arabic at the time uh, of issue. And the gum arabic uh, has been applied uh, selectively to certain spots to create a glossy sheen. This plate, by the way, has a tear in it right here, which you can sort of vaguely see. It's been repaired with archival tape right here. Uh, Zouaves are these guys here with their rifles. Uh, yep, carabiniers, yeah, horseback. Um, and uh, so this gum Arabic is an extra level of hand coloring, an extra step uh, that is often reserved for finer work. And this book would certainly fall into that realm. I'm going to show you all the images so that there is no question what's within it, and if you want to own it, uh, you'll know uh, in advance exactly what you're getting. Uh, yeah, this is a great uh, military costume book of the mid-19th century. It would have been very expensive in its day. Uh, yeah, these look at these, it's great. Uh, books like this, because of their production cost, had a relatively limited audience. At this time, it would have been no question, a wealthy audience. These, uh, this type of book was, oh, there's an uh, invalid there uh, missing a leg with a wooden peg leg. Uh, it was not intended for the casual browser. Color in the mid-19th century is primarily uh, done by hand a lot of the time, aside from some color lithography. But color has always been and uh, likely always will be uh, expensive. Uh, to produce in books. Uh, even today, uh, color is more expensive than black and white. Um, it just makes sense because uh, many of these inks, uh, in fact, at this time would have been uh, likely ground by hand. Um, this is a bit prior to the commercial spreading of uh, ink in tubes, uh, like for oil color or a tempera paint. Um, this is likely watercolor, uh, and the artist would have mixed the colors by the batch. And we're coming to the end. This is the final uh, image. So you have now seen all 59 images. And if this color plate book interests you, it is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.